Pog Wrestler is back here with another updated tier list and this is the Raw roster after the draft but it's also the December version so anyone who's been a wee late entry into it we're going to be ranking them all we've got S right down to F S is the, the cream of the crop A's you're, you're pretty great B you're good C you're meh D you're pretty shit but F is the bottom of the barrel. You need out this company quicker than Chris Ben Warlock's the cross face in and the Daniel. And I think that's where half this roster's going. I think they're going straight to F. Am I going to lie? Yes, and we're going to go for left, right to the bottom Doesn't right. Doesn't look promising. Um, yeah, so. Doesn't it look promising? <laughs> there's, no, there's no point dragging this out. Let's get stuck straight in. We're going to go with the not so phenomenal AJ Styles. They don't want none. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't want, I, don't I want certainly none. don't want none of him. He's uh, going D because he doesn't deserve to be released, and it's not really his fault. He's just, it's just shite. Th this stuff with Almos is fucking atrocious. I don't know why they're still doing it. I don't know why they've done it in the first place. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a Michael's Diesel kind of relationship, but it's not. It's a change of channel relationship. I don't like AEW, but I feel like they do a much better job with AJ Styles. I probably just have my fucking matches, like to be fair. I know. <laughs> I know, but how good? Like AJ Styles against CM Punk for the world title just is much better than anything these fuckers could do right now. True. And even though Punk's pish, but anyway, Styles N D. Next up, Akira Tozawa F. F. Uh, do we need to explain no, why? Uh, well, tw the, I, the, I the whole, whole twenty four seven stuff alone. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, that, that that's it. And it's not like I had high hopes for the guy before that twenty four seven stuff. No. If it wasn't that twenty four seven stuff, he'd he probably does, be. He, do, he does definitely have a comedic element to him. I'm not going to deny that, but yeah, but I feel it's like fucking I, awful. Yeah, no, but I kind of think he could stick any Asian person in that role and it would work. He's he's certainly not Taijiri. No, he's like the most jobber version of Taijiri. Well, do you think maybe he deserves to go in D? No, it's F. Well, no, it's F. Is this, it? Our truth's going in F. Is he? That no, that twenty four seven stuff is awful. Like. It's parkour and they're making it that they can't catch us. Right. Nah. Alexa Bliss, who we haven't seen in um, about three months. But a year ago, this was some of the best stuff you've seen on Raw. No, now you don't see nothing. Uh, to be up. honest, I, I, didn't have, I didn't really enjoy it when they got away for the Bray Wyatt stuff and uh, some say, doll, I, Lily. I mean, come on. I'd say D is what I'd say top of D. Yeah, top of D. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I'd say Alexa Bliss is currently better than AJ Styles because she's not currently on Raw. And that sums up Raw. Next up with Angelo Dawkins, um, the worst member of the Street Profits. This guy's getting nay for seat. Yeah, no, I know. I, I can honestly see the Street Profits breaking up soon. And I think, I think the other guy will get pushed and this guy will just get pushed, I think top pushed a, out the door. A, a top F. Top F? Yeah. You might see him pushed out the door sooner or uh, quicker? Yes, oh, okay. I think he's pish. Top F, boom. Next up with Apollo Crews. Um, I wish it was Apollo Creed. But no. Again, I mean, I felt like when the first game, the Nigerian gimmick, he maybe went somewhere, but it's like, with WWE, as soon as they take the belt off you, they can't keep you relevant. Not that I'm saying he was relevant, but it's like, when they have a run for you, as soon as your run ends, there's they, not, there's they can't off. keep you at the level of that. You there's just, no other stories. You just back in the day, die. You just, do you know what I mean? Like, back in the day, you, you were fucking, every bastard had a story. Now, unless you have a title... Or you're a, a top dog. You just get relegated to like six man off. tags or battle royals, and that's where Apollo Cruz is at the moment. And uh, for me, I'm going to have to put Apollo Cruz at the top of F. Um, the yeah. only thing I've really ever said he was all right at would be his uh, his run with the the whole Nigerian thing. But see, when you used to do those dwarf battle royals, he could be Bobby Lashley. Is he tall enough to be a dwarf, Bobby Lashley? That's true. Right up next, we have. Um, Austin Fury, fucking bot me half. This guy, they're, they're trying to do Austin McMahon with this guy. It's Austin. <laughs> I said it feels wrong putting a guy expected, called Austin. Unexpected. I will in the bot me half, but Aye. no one was expecting this. I mean, well, if Austin Fury learned last week by McMahon, you've always got to expect the unexpected. And uh, this is expected. They'll bot me half. <laughs> Up Shite. next, uh, big time Bex or whatever. Big time Bex or Bex two belts or whatever the fucking Aye, well, moniker she's going by these can, days. She can go. Is it Bex for beer? We'll stick her top of D. Top of D. Well, there you go. Top of D. Next up with Bianca Belair. Connor McGregor. Talk, talk about someone who had the belt and they don't know what the fuck to do with them, and they're just all this. Talk about come. someone who's fucking literally just died since they won the rumble. Top of F. I think she's fucking shit. No, I'm, 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 I'm going to say top of D. Hey, you're going to say top of D, but I'm saying top of F. Well, I'm overruling your decision. I, I think I, I, I think she's too athletic to get released. I think 
You right. could do something, Leo. Right, next just up, we Beggy, top, bottom, bottom of D. Aye. Um, it's you know what? The fact I, that the champions is... I, I, I would put them top of F, but they're just... You can't release the world champ. Well, you get a new one. I would. I would. <laughs> you, I you, would get new, you get a new one if you do. <laughs> That's true. Um, oh, man. Uh, up next, Bobby Lashley. Well, I'll stick him in C. I like the Bobby. almighty Bobby Lashley. I like you, Bobby. Fucking sucks that he lost his title to that. Big fruitcake, but that's what happened. Next up, we'll get the Carl. most beautiful woman in WWE, apparently. Carmel. Doesn't matter what brand she's on, it's just the same pish every time. Yeah, has her, has her character ever really evolved? No. See, when, five years of shit. See, when she was with, even when back in the day when she was with. Uh, Enzo and Cass. I'm thinking more James Ellsworth. But was that not still kind of her gimmick? I know. Because her whole theme song, Fabulous, that was like. Uh, F A B O L U S fucking I can't you know, spell. Like so, you know, she went for fabulous, and oh, I'm fabulous now. She's it, and it's just the same shit. The the whole character is all oh, I'm good looking, but I mean, that your face, to... that's it. Yeah, was, I don't know. For me, I'm I'm saying top F. Fuck I don't it, even think she's that attractive. I don't know. Top F. It's went fucking nowhere. Yeah, I mean, it's just I can see scary. her an impact in about a year. I mean, fucking Corey Graves. What would, you, what would you call her? Our our just spell Melka? fabulous back, backwards. Car- Carmel. Carmel. Huh? Mm-hmm. Dairy milk Carmel. Dairy milk Carmel. Uh, Cedric Alexander. Yeah, bought me off. Fuck me. Cedric, your ass on out here, Jabroni. He's fucking pish. We, we, There's we, only one guy called Cedric. Is good. It's, it's the wrestling Jesus right. show. Next up, we have. Um, but he was in. Not. He was in the hurt business show. Nah, in a hurt. Right. Next up, we have uh, <laughs> this guy here, Shorty G. I'm actually going to put Shorty D. Oh, I'm going to put Shorty. I gave it away. Fuck's sake. I'm going to put Shorty D in the. Uh, I'm going to put him. Uh, fucking Poppy D. I think he's. I think he's uh, here. Some of the stuff they were doing with him and Otis is all right. Right next up with. Uh, what they need to do is they need to run Otis as a singles guy and just have have him be the manager, the motivator, the speaker, not the talker. A tag team. But what they're doing is they're putting him as a tag team and he's taking every single pinfall and that. They might think that's not Barry and Otis, but it's not getting them over, is it? Not Next really up with Commander Assis, I think. Ah, you can go and sit beside Apollo, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I did it for the team, Apollo. Nah, this guy's pissed, Next actually. up with Damien Priest, I will put this guy... Uh, you got bot- something against Cedric Alexander here? I was just wondering why you put him so low. I think he's shite. Oh, uh, Next up, Priest, I'll put him below Lashley. I like Priest, I think he's actually all right. You like Priest? Uh, he's called uh, Damien now. Just Damien? Uh-huh. Oh, I, and, I, and then it goes into a Damien mode towards the end. No, 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 no wrestling games. Just to like the comeback. You get a triangle. Yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got a comeback, and the commentators mark it. He's got into Damien mode. <laughs> he's taking us a pony to hell. You're like, what? Well, that's all right. Not oh, well. that. Up next with the twenty four seven champion Dana Brooke. F. How far down? Bottom. Oh, well, plastic bitch. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, she's never achieved anything. Never will. See when people like this come cry on social media, but. They need, they, or they deserve it, or they need an opportunity. <laughs> no, it's what, funny. What see, the, see the next three people; they're all going bought me off. In order? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. To be <laughs> honest, yeah, right. Dolph Ziggler. This guy since twenty fourteen. This guy is just. I uh, nah, just, nah. Fuck him. He's pissed. Dolph Ziggler bottom. Dominic yeah, bottom. Dude, drop right. Uh, what the only person I'd put lower than fucking Natalia. <laughs> Fat cunt. Oh man, and that's, uh, do drop fucking. She's dropped in these rankings, that's for sure. No. Uh, up next, we've got the Rated R Superstar. Right, I'm putting him Edge. B. B. Oh. I would put him higher, but he's doing fuck all. Just he right. just caught me CM Punk. Is he really worthy? I mean, she could be a little last. No, when Edge, when, Edge, when Edge appears, like you, you do take a wee bit of notice. Uh, and his matches with Rollins was good. So. This guy. The the line starts behind me. It's, it's you know, the F then. Yeah. The F line starts behind me. <laughs> the F line starts behind me. <laughs> self check out, out the door, uh, right? Kevin Owens. Speaking of guy self checkouts and food in and front of Dolph Ziggler. Ah, no, I can't. No, this guy's just a fat cunt. Is, is Kevin Owens not proof, right? That see this whole the work top stars need to work these guys and put them over. He's worked with everyone. I, I think no, I think I, I think that whole thing is nonsense, right? Because yeah, this or... guy had a big a long feud with Cena, right? And then a massive feud with Jericho. And Cena put him over in one match. It might be even two matches, I can't remember. And Jericho put him over at Mania. And where's it got him? 
Mm. See this? You need to put someone over. I think. No, I, but it's not even that. He's feared no, it with I, Reigns. He's feared it with Goldberg. I mean, he's feared it with Triple yeah, H. Yeah, but I, 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 I think. Really, he was I think. With Triple H. I, I think a star can help put you over. But unless you've got it, you ain't gonna get over. Exactly. You, you can't. You know what I mean? It's like. I I could fucking magically a spawn in the raw ring Monday night and Cena could come back and lose to me, but no, but like Triple H buried a lot of people in the mid to uh, early to mid two thousands. But at the end of the day, all those people were still great. Didn't really, it didn't really matter him beating them or not. It just just took a few world titles off them. Yeah, like so. Edge could Edge could come out and challenge Dominic Mysterio next week and lose to him. Is that putting Mysterio over Dominic over? No, it's making Edge sure look it's pish. No, it's making Edge look pish and, that's, that's, to me, that's just proof. This guy's worked with everybody, and he's still garbage. He's, he's worked with everybody, and he's a nobody. <laughs> Next up, with Liv Morgan. Uh, yeah, hey, fuck it. Could you imagine his title reign with Foot Jericho? Exactly. Fuck it, would have been bad. Right. Next up, with Liv Morgan. Fucking top of ass. Everyone's saying push Liv Morgan. I, 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 I push her at the I fucking don't door. See fucking why, man. Um, yeah, yeah for me. Uh, up next with Matt Riddle. I'll put him top of C or bottom of B. I'm going to put him top of B. Yeah, I like Riddle. Bottom of B. Bottom of B. I, I, to be honest, I think his character's a wee bit, you know, gay for a 36-year-old man, but I, I like the guy. I think he's all right. This dude, I think, has got a lot more potential than his, his teammate. We'll put him above fucking Big E. Big, Big E, there you go, in there. Like Nicky Cross, the only person going above Doudrop. Well, uh, well, he could well. make a cake. I think he could... Um, no, she's not as fat as Dewdrop. No, okay. I I don't is that physically what, is that feel what, sick is that, when is that I see what we're basing it on then? Pretty much. Plus uh, she's Scottish. Oh, fuck, she's Scottish as well. Oh fuck yeah. Uh, Fucking hell. She's fat. <laughs> right, next up, she's fat. Next that up, fat son of a bitch. Next up, that tall son of a bitch. Oh, I mean, a guy that could just really be. Oh, oh, oh I'll put him above Dominic. Uh, seems a bit right. Dolph Ziggler feels a bit shafted being on this bottom row, like, but. Otis, I'm going to put Otis I'm going to put Otis top of D Mmm, yeah I mean, the guy's right. He's fat, like, but he's a good fat, you know what I mean? I yeah. feel like if you're a guy, you can get away with being fat Because Damn. No, people are going to say that's sexist, right? And I'm, no, going, to, I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going to 100% tell you why it's not, right? Because see guys like Otis See guys back in the day like Earthquake And the fucking one man gang or whatever And Bam Bam Bigelow they they used their body right, and they used their size as part of their character, and it was known that oh, this is a hit, this is a fat guy. If he lands on you, you're fucked. They don't do that with like the dude dropping Nia Jax. The end of, no, the end. Of, the, the truth is, no, but the top fat women have only come into wrestling since the like this lefty generation. Ah, it's to make them feel inclusive, and uh, but the fact is, the the like uh, someone like Otis actually uses the size. Now she might work like a a heavier style, but. They ain't gonna. I mean, they ain't gonna say, "Oh shit, you don't want that three hundred pounds." She's got no fucking choice to work a heavier. Style. Yeah, but like, see when Rikishi. No, but they're not making. They don't make fun of Nia Jackson and, and Dewdrop like they did Rikishi's ass. No. Oh, look at that! You know, you know what I mean? Fucking like, should like, like Fissera. Remember the world. See when he's see he's about to fall over on someone. Like they'd be like, "Oh shit, you're gonna die if he lands." They don't do that with him. They try and portray them as how they're gonna eliminate big, him big, from the royal. They try and portray. Like Nia Jax, should they try and portray her as like big and beautiful? See if they just portrayed Nia Jax as a fat bastard, then maybe I would. Looks a bit like Geo. But then maybe I would, um, I don't know. Looks like more of Jay for fucking Emma. Respect her a bit more, but the, the bottom of D for me, right? Up next, Queen we're, Selena. We're, we're, Queen we're, Vega. We've uh, fucking 9 11 fucked them herself, Selena Vega. I'm going to say F. Aye. Better behind Liv Morgan because the, the whole Queen gimmick's killing me. Push. Randall Keith Orton, I'm going to put top of D. Top of D? Aye. Oh, fair enough. He's probably, boring as fuck, uh, but he's Randy Orton. Uh, I think you can say the same about this guy. He's very Mysterio, but he's pish. Nah, like? he's not pish, like, but... Top of D? Yeah. He'd be better if he... Oh, fuck me. I was going to say he'd be better if he... No, the thing is, right? See, like, Styles, Orton and Ray? They could very easily be AS. There's people in F who couldn't even get out of F. <laughs> no matter how hard they fucking tried. <laughs> Right. <laughs> There's people in F I don't even think they serve to make it to F. <laughs> I don't know, I would have left them down on the bottom. Fuck it. <laughs> that, that line probably starts behind fucking Finn Balor. <laughs> right, next up with Rhea Ripley and uh, Freak Show Bastard herself. Um, where's she going? Above Dewdrop. 
Nah, above above nah, Mickey Mickey Cross. Cross. Nah, above Dominic. Nah, come on, for me. I'll be fair. I'm willing to go that far. <laughs> Bob, right, Bobby, Roode. it's an F for me. It's just how far down is he going? <laughs> how far can you go? Above Dick Sigler or below Sigler? Um, you can go in between him and Owens. <sighs> fucking freeway, fucking sandwich, you know. Yep. Uh, right, next up, we've our got truth. truth. You, you said Akira. Um, uh, I'll put our truth top F yeah, because our truth can be funny, but that twenty four seven, honestly. It's nah, fucking atrocious. Uh, 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 yeah. No, nah, he's going top of the F. Can you I put him bottom of D, no? No, you can say it you want. It's going top of the F. I think that's harsh. No, it's no. Seth Rollins. Top of C. Top of C? He... No, no, actually, no, no, no. Fucking just above Dewdrop. See that stuff with the fan? <laughs> fuck Seth Rollins. I don't give a fuck. That's awful. Top, just above Dewdrop. <laughs> just above Dewdrop? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he was terrified. He's, some... he's, he's, he's went for the top of C and a fucking F just because I had a fucking memory. No, I'm sorry. That's pathetic. You're lucky I never dropped him in C. He was just hovering. He never actually. You know what? If he didn't come out and said he was terrified, I could have maybe accepted it. Like he, I, just, I, I, he, he didn't want to battle the guy because of lost But he actually came out and said he was terrified. See, when you said C, I was actually going to push to put him in B. <laughs> just fucked him. <laughs> now he's just dropped all the way to F. Uh, Shelton Benjamin. You're going down, <laughs> down, down, down. Um, down smooth. Behind our truth. Uh, off a low. Can you go? Behind down, our down, truth. Down, down, down. Tamina Snuka. Uh, above Rhea Ripley. Mm, that's Rhea Ripley. Right, here. right, next up. Um, uh, what? Uh, Dominic. D- Dominic. Um, D- 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 what? Therese, is it? It's like Theo or something? No, it's Dominic Jakovic or something. Like, Who the fuck is Dominic Jakovic? He's the guy that was with that other guy that you thought was um, Reggie. So they're on two different shows now? All right. So T-Bar and Mace. T-Bar and Mace. So what's the point of them? I don't know. Well, they're singles for guys now. So he's Mace? I don't know. Well, if the other guy was T-Bar, he's Mace. The Mace is more over on Bally Bean and it hasn't existed in about five years. Right. Where's he going? Anywhere you want. As long as it's an F. <laughs> I'm pretty far low down, <laughs> but not below Dewdrop. Oh man, um, I I probably stick my Bob Dominic. I think that's a bit right. Right, next stop with the Miz. Uh, MJF. Because <laughs> I'm the Miz and, and I'm, I'm absolutely awesome. dumb shit, <laughs> but uh, I'm still but I'm... better than everyone from fucking D downwards. Um, the uh, the uh, Jesus Top Christ. Of D. What? He's doing fuck all. He's just back. Right, he well, was doing movies. Right, what right movies? top of D then. He's doing movies that these cunts aren't even allowed to sell anymore. Nah, top of C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can anyone get a Miz movie now? If we can't sell DVDs. Straight to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> the chaperone will never be seen again. God damn it. Uh, fucking straight to the fucking non-existent DVDs. I'm going to stick to Miz bottom of C. And up next. With uh, the guy that's returning to Raw next week, he's... <laughs> and he's coming, he's going to change the game on Raw. <laughs> he's also going to change the game in the F category. He's going to change the fucking channel, <laughs> not in a good way. Oh, where's he going, man? Well, what's his name again? He can go anywhere. Fear? But below... yeah. <laughs> he can go anywhere but below Dewdrop and no higher than fucking Dewdrop. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Oh, fear slots in between Seth Rollins and Dewdrop. And that is the end, guys. That is this um raw roster ranking video done. Let us know what you thought uh, down below. No wonder Ross pissed for you. I wasn't as filled with this crap, man. Seriously. For fuck's sake. I mean, you could combine Raw and SmackDown and you wouldn't even get a good hour of television. You Yet these cunts are so... Yeah, you would die. See if you see the, if you combined our Raw and SmackDown rosters and you just deleted all the Fs and the Ds and above were what you remained with, do you think you'd have a decent two hour show? <coughs> Maybe. We'll find out. Maybe do that one day. But anyway, that's it. So we think all these guys deserve to be real. I mean, Ric Flair's right, right? Fucking real Rollins, that's a pussy. That's the first time I've seen a wrestler. All right, he never got beat up, but that's the first time I've seen a fan jump the barricade and make the wrestler look weak. Exactly. I mean, more often than not, either the fan doesn't get to the wrestler, or if he gets to the wrestler, he gets battered. In this case, he got to the wrestler, and the wrestler didn't batter him. The wrestler actually powered away in fear. fucking atrocious. Uh, anyway, guys, that's our list. Let us know what you think down below. Edge is the top of it, because he's fucking Edge, really. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you disagree, let us know. But no, I, I, I find it hard. I, I reckon do drop in fear would be pretty low doing anyone's list. Yeah. But there's probably people that have do drop in like B or C. I mean, there, there probably is freaks and weirdos out there that have, you know what I mean? Nay, Think. fuck it, not here. I'm full wrestling. This is the channel that tells you the truth. And anyway, that's it, guys. Till next time. Peace.